Hey, we're back at it again. Welcome back to the channel, Bass Brothers Fishing, out doing some reservoir fishing today. At least that's our intention is to get on some bass, hopefully a couple big ones here and there. But we're at a reservoir that has multi-species, getting out bright and early. It's gonna be hot and it's gonna be clear skies today. So that's kind of the summer pattern been so far is to get in early hours and get out. And we're hoping to be able to capitalize on some of the blow-ups that we're seeing on the top water so far as we're launching a boat. So we wanna get at it and see what can happen. Appreciate you guys hanging with us. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the boat build content that's going on, the low 1436 John Boat to Bass Boat Conversion. If you haven't checked that out, check the link below. Nothing else to say, but let's, let's get on some fish. You gotta do it, let's go. Let's go. I'm contemplating skipping the cove to the right and going straight across that bank since the water level's down. Fish on. Didn't start to hook very well. Uh, First fish of the day. Here you go. Little guy. Got the skunk off the boat. All right. First fish of the day, little dinky guy. 3XD, don't know how deep down he was, but he is, man, I feel how warm. Ooh, yes. <laughs> I was gonna say, bro. All right, buddy, thank you. So we're sitting in about 30 feet of water and I threw over near the bank. Don't know how deep it was, but that fish was very, very warm. This water temperature is 82 degrees. I wanna see something is chasing. Oh my gosh, something is chasing like big time. Got him, got him, got him, got him. He's gonna come off, he's barely hooked. <laughs> Throw over there, man. This is fun. <laughs> it's right here. I cast it right into it. Jay's chasing bait fish right there. On the lipless crankbait, guys. Warren just caught literally two minutes ago. We we're almost doubled up. He just released his fish. About the same size as this. Nothing in size, but guess what? We both got our skunks off pretty quick. Only been fishing maybe 20 minutes. All right. Yeah, he's on. Oh. Little dink. <laughs> Quiet as on the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Not, uh, yeah, you need a little bit more. Uh, here you go. Not really a dink. A little bit uh, same size. Yeah, about the same uh, size. All right, number two. Well, it seems like we picked an active side. Where we started was blank. Nothing. Nothing in size, but still fun to get some fish today. It is going to heat up. Everything's going to change over. So we're on a shaded side. We're going to fish a shade line for a while. See if we can stay on the bite. Jump. No, you change your mind. He was like, I'm trying to jump. Oh my gosh, this, I could make tea with this water. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fish one. Mm, feels hefty too. Where is he? Coming around. Yeah. Where the heck is he? He's under the boat. Yeah, the way he's yanking. Oh no. Yep, it came off. There's a pike. Fish on. Definitely a bass this time. Nope, pike. Orange on a pike. Let's get it. Let's get it. Species number two. All righty. Here we go. Yeah, gotta get them all untangled. That's the second pike hookup. The first one got off right at the boat. Yep. <clears throat> Good Lord. These things, they do not like being caught. Felt like a bass that time though. Fish number two, guys. Got us a little pike. He's gonna shake out of my hand any minute now. Yep. Ugh. So second pike in this little area. First one got off. This guy was uh, in there pretty good. Got him. Yeah, whatever it is, it's heavy. It's not really pulling like a bass, but he's just heavy. He's coming up. He's a bass. He's a bass. Biggest one of the day. All right. Oh my gosh, that felt good. Oh, you just changed the green. I caught him on black. He might be two on the nose. We're going to weigh him for fun. 
Nice fat belly. Doesn't look like he's ever been caught before. Pretty fish in excellent condition. I wish I had some sunlight for you guys to see him. 2.5, his stomach's big. 2.5, 2.6. He's short. I'm going to say 2.6. 2.6.9. Yeah, got him in the sun now for you guys to see. Beautiful picture of this guy. He is absolutely awesome looking. Look at that. There he goes. Mm. Yeah. He's coming up quick. No, he's going to go. Don't, 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 don't. Stay down, buddy. Coming around. I'm gonna keep, just keep pressure on him. Not as big. Ready? Yep. All right. Oh, he's bleeding. Is he? Why is there so much blood coming out? Probably hooked his gill because the hook is up top. Oh no, he's got hooked. How did that happen so quick? All right, guys, unfortunately that fish did not make it. We got the gut hook out pretty quick, but the way it was hooked itself caused way too much damage to the fish. And I'm actually very surprised that happened because I set the hook pretty quick. Oop, oop. Uh, small. Mm -hmm. Little guy. Little guy, dinky doo. Took off. <laughs> Where's your used bait bag? I got 600 bandito bugs in a used bait bag. This one even got a hook on it. How <laughs> you got a hook on that damn bandito? <laughs> it's, just, it's just ready. <laughs> Are you serious? Come on, man. Stop wasting bait. <laughs> mm, mm. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Molly, this has been on here too long. <laughs> it's a small one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know, bro. No, 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 I can see the hook. Okay. Yeah. He's a chunky, fat one. He's short and stubby. I was messing around, uh, taking my hat off, trying to cool down, and um, he was on. Got this one on a drop shot. He is short, but very fat. Take a look at that belly, guys. That is a little chunker. Back in you go. Fish on. Got one of them. Yep, I hope so, too. Whoa. Warren got on a suspended bass on a crankbait, right? Yeah. Nice. Suspended all along this stretch right here. They were at about 10 feet, 10 to 12 feet. They were going off on the uh, fish finder. Went past the first time, didn't get a bite. Threw back towards it and got on this little guy right here on a crankbait on the 3XD. See if I can go get some of his buddies that are still beeping on the uh, sonar. Thanks for biting, guy. He goes straight down. Fish on. Mm -hmm. One hook. You trying to let him fall off? <laughs> Be gone. Can we quick release in the water? I can put him in the net. Even though that might make it worse. Where's the um pliers? So uh yeah. Ooh, yep, see you got the net. Yeah, shake yourself, sir. All right, update time. Well, it's a little bit late in the day. Almost time to get out of here. I uh, want to give you an update. We've got 10 fish in the boat, caught on about four different baits. We got it on a drop shot, a crankbait. What was that? Scribble crankbait, lipless crankbait, bandito bug. That's all we can remember right now. I think the biggest fish was on the Senko. Yeah, that was the other one. Walked right into that. Forget what it weighed, but it's like two something. Sorry, my brain is fried because it's hot. We're like burning up out here, but we want to get one and maybe two more fish in the boat. Boat ramp is right over there somewhere. And uh, you know, the bite died off for like the last two hours. So it's a big struggle bus thing happening right now, but stay with us. We'll try to get a couple more in the boat. Let's get it. There's one. That's fish number one. There you go. That's a decent fight. Get him in the boat. You want me to go and let him? Let's get it. Let's get it. We just finished saying we need two more fish before we get out of here. And Warren Hook. Whoa, this guy is pissed. Oh my gosh. He is upset. Fishy, smelly, slimy, 
fish right here. That's a nice one. You want a picture? Got on one. We're trying to get to. Let me get this big boy back in the water. Get out of here, buddy. Angry fish. Let me put him down. Angry, angry, angry. All right. Thank you, Kami. Make life easier. Go ahead and click it, man. You got to click it. <laughs> oh, shit, this energy drink kicking in. What time? Is, what time is it? Uh, yeah, it's two minutes to when I said it was. <laughs> <laughs> Fish on. Oh my gosh. Right here. Mm -hmm. Feels like another, uh, what's it though? I think so. Yep. I feel the way he was yanking. Because only they do that, right? Yep. At the boat. All that. <laughs> All right, man. We have a bass versus pike day here. And the pike are catching up. Oh, oh my gosh. Just don't get hooked, bro. Oh, yeah. There you go. What? Oh, oh, he took it right here. My bad. I probably was. I didn't really get to see it. I was looking, I was looking behind us. Yeah, these pike have turned on in the afternoon hours, trying to take over. All oh, these nibbles. That's not a nibble. Get him in, 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 get him in. One time, one time, one time. Oh, his mouth all jacked up, bro. You didn't got with a with a dirty fish. Oh, little man, I was starting to think there was nothing over here, but pike. Wait a minute. Oh. I'm gonna keep a net tied on until I catch with it. On the net rig. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just bring him in. On the net rig. Well, I guess you can take it off now. <laughs> <laughs> I just said I am gonna leave the net tied on until I catch with it, and that was the second cast. Yes. The Ned Rig is back. I haven't caught a Ned Rig in probably two years. All right, appreciate you, little buddy. <laughs> he is like jumping out. Well, he's trying to come to you. He's digging down. <laughs> oh my gosh, he is trying, he is trying, he's trying. I'm gonna come around this side. Yeah, not bad. Hold on, hold on. Not bad. Nice fish. Not <laughs> bad. Nice fish. On the Ned Rig. Oh yeah. my gosh. There we go. There we go. Something of size. This is the second fish of size today. We've caught a lot of fish. Look at that hook, man, right there. That was just a straight blind cast. Yeah, that's the, that's the second biggest fish. Right yeah. There. Who says the Ned Rig does not catch decent bass? Black and blue. And I've caught another fish on this, as you guys just saw. And that worm is still intact. That Z-Man Elastec is a beast. <laughs> sneak up, get up, boy. It's funny, y'all. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I went from zero nets to like can't stop catching on it. Yeah man. <laughs> oh yeah yeah. Too much fun. Too much fun. All right, little buddy. Appreciate you. So guys, I'm just using this weedless version of the TRD, the Ned Rig Jig Head Z-Man. And I'm going weedless because there's so much stuff down there to get hooked up on you. We all know Ned Rigs can get hitched up very easily, very frequently, and that's not fun. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> but they're dancing. And oh my gosh, that bandito's tore up. It's floating know, down. So there's a running joke. Naeem has a bag full of used baits that uh, he hardly ever uses because they have missing an appendage or have a split top. I grab them, I catch fish with them. <laughs> yeah, I got a bag of beat up baits. Where is it? Is that one? Yeah. Here it is. All kind of plastics <laughs> in here, just random stuff. And Warren laughs at me like, why don't you use this stuff? And he's just cutting off the bad pieces. That produces this. And catching fish with it. <laughs> Thank you, guy. Yeah, he just struck it. I, uh, bro, he, yeah. No, I saw you. I saw your whole rod go down. Think he's wrapped up? Maybe. I don't know. Oh. I got one. 
And and I think yours it might still be on too. Oh, did he dig? Nah, he's up. He's up. Man, this net rig is killing it, man. We gotta get you out. Let me try to back you up. All right, let me get mine in the boat. Nice. I wanna try to get Warren unhooked too. I think he's hitched up with a fish. So all we're doing is, is a lot of standing timber, a lot of brush and bush above the water line because the reservoir levels are down, maybe down about yeah, this fish five. He just, came off. he just came off. Oh, we got the double up. Warren got his free. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, I saw man. I saw your rod go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I felt when it got loose just now. Yeah. <laughs> got the double up. Yeah, man. All right, double release. All right. And away we go. Ooh, what a day. What a day. Had a really good time. Had a lull in the middle, though. It got a little dry in the middle, you know, what, a couple hours maybe? Where it was like hit or miss, maybe a pike here or there. The bass definitely won the pike bass battle. Uh, it was touch and go for a minute, but um, when the bass weren't active, the pike were, and they were chasing bait. Always fun to catch those fish as well, very aggressive. Biggest fish was a 2.6, um, so size was a little bit down today. Today was more about numbers, which, you know, some days are like that. And honestly, it's a lot better to catch fish than not to. That's why we're out here. So we appreciate you guys riding with us. Don't forget, check out the links in the description below. Uh, we got the boat bills going for any boat building inquiries. All our information is down below. DM us or email us at the address in the description box. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. We had a blast. Definitely. Today was epic. And it is hot, hot and epic. So we're gonna get the you know what out of here. Don't forget, tap that like button. That helps our videos trend. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and leave us a comment so we can be in communication with the community out there. We appreciate each and every one of you. Until we see you again, see you on the next video. Thank you.